Good morning, Sister McNamara School. Hi. Can I talk to Kim Midford, please? Yes, my tower is calling. It's Heather Reisman and Jen Jones from the Indigo Love of Reading Foundation. Just a minute, please. Good morning. This is Kim speaking. Hi, Kim. It's Heather Reisman and Jennifer Jones from the Indigo Love of Reading Foundation. Hello. Nice to hear your voice. And it's great to connect with you. How's everything in Winnipeg today? We're being blown away. <laughs> Um, but it's not raining, Those are, and the sun is shining. Those are good things. I'm always happy when I call to Winnipeg because I am an honorary Winnipegger. Oh, great. What part of town are you from? My husband is from Winnipeg, so when we were first together, we used to go back a lot, and he had a place in an area called Tuxedo. So I guess you heard of the big announcement uh, yesterday about our new uh, hockey, hockey team. team. Or yeah. our returning hockey team, whatever way we want to look at it. Yes, well, I just heard from one of our senior executives that Winnipeg did, in fact, get a new hockey team. Yeah, the Atlanta Thrash. They're coming. I don't know what they'll be, but they're coming. For me, the, the best part of Winnipeg is the hot dogs, but, you know. <laughs> I am so happy to tell you that your grant has been accepted. <laughs> oh, and we are absolutely thrilled to hear that. You, I have the team all assembled here. I think <laughs> that wasn't just my noise. <laughs> and I understand you applied last year. Is that correct? We did, yeah. And... Every time I call a school that has applied, some schools have applied three years in a row, even a school that applies and doesn't make it and comes back, I feel that's so phenomenal and a story you ought to share with your students, that you can try something and not succeed and try again and then succeed. We're delighted and we are going to give you a grant of $105,000. Wow. Oh, wow. That's absolutely amazing. And yeah, the whole idea of perseverance is a really important lesson, and the team certainly has kept at it. We are just so very pleased to be receiving the grant. Thank you so very much. Today, your library budget is about $5,500, and this will mean that your annual budget will be 3500 And the way it will work is you get 31500 in credit to spend at any Indigo or Chapters or Kohl's, whatever store you like to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You will also get $3,500 in cash every year for the next three years to do any kind of special projects with the kids you want. Take them on outings, organize some special school-wide project, anything you feel will just inspire them, open their minds, give them a treat, make them feel energized about being creative. <laughs> we need Kleenex at our table. <laughs> That's amazing. We have many wonderful literacy projects. This will be so supportive of our students. Stop making me cry. Yeah, <laughs> I'll make you guys talk. Yeah, thank you so very much. Oh, you're so welcome. We're going to encourage you to talk to the press because we want the people to understand how poorly funded schools are in terms of books and librarians yeah. and how yeah. much of a difference the principals and the teachers feel it will make. Yeah. to have this kind of resource. You're absolutely right on that, that if we want our kids to be literate, we have uh, a goal here that every student leaves Sister Mac a reader. To do that, we need to have the tools that we need, and books are our most important tool. Pretty hard to read without books. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely yeah. fantastic. And if you choose, you can also buy a couple of e-readers for the school. You know that the e-readers give you access. <laughs> okay. You said some gas. I don't know if you could hear them. Yeah. <laughs> E-readers give you access to about a million free titles. Yeah. So yeah. that's another fantastic way to expand your library. Right. Oh, thank you. What a good suggestion. Fantastic. You have a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you so very, very much.